Hi everybody. So today I thought I'd take a look at uh, t um, Tells, which is a um, GNU Linux application that allows you to surf the web anonymously. So let's check out the um, their website. So th how this is accomplished is essentially you will um, head over to a uh, a relay. Now your information going from from your computer to your ISP is unencrypted, but once you get to the Tor relay, it sends you to uh, random networks and it bounces from network to network. And um, again, there's unencrypted information from the end server and you. However, everything in between is uh, encrypted. Now the advantage to using this is um, if you're uh, paranoid for whatever reason, somebody might be uh, uh, listening in and uh, um, recording or uh, eavesdropping on your uh, communications over your uh, laptop or your desktop computer. Now it's not perfect but some of the cool features in um, uh, Tells is that you can use it on just about any computer. Um, you can install it onto a USB pen drive, which is what I did here. I used uh, UNetBootin and installed the uh, ISO for uh, point 0.19 version, which had some uh, security fixes. So, um, what? Why, why you would want to use Tells is essentially, uh, let's say you're borrowing somebody's computer, uh, working in an internet cafe on something, as if those still exist, I suppose. Uh, or, um, heck, even uh, uh, using your own laptop on a public network. This will help uh, increase some of your, uh, your network safety. Although, uh, as far as using it in a public place, uh, like a internet cafe, um, since it's not sending your data to the first server um, encrypted, uh, people could still look at your system. I mean, I suppose you could set up a SSH. Having it on, on um, USB allows you to install software. For instance, I installed uh, what did I install? I've installed AVConv or libav, which is the Debian version of FFmpeg. I uh, wasn't able to record audio through that, but luckily um, Audacity came uh, with it. It's amazing the applications that are available. I mean, you've got uh, uh, GIMP, Inkscape, OpenOffice Draw, Scribus, which is interesting how many drawing programs they offer. Uh, various uh, internet program uh, pro um, programs, including unsafe web mode, which will basically open up Ice Weasel, aka Firefox, in a new browser window, and um, that will do give you a uh, non-toward uh, link to the internet. Um, Oh wow, Pativi video editors here. So I might actually be able to edit this video right here within Tells. I'll let you guys know in the show notes below. Uh, but let's do one one quick test to see how um, Tells works. Now, I'm reloading this page. I wonder if my IP address will change when it finishes loading. Probably not. Whoops. Let's try this again. I had that page sitting for a while, and since this is running off of a USB stick, there's always the risk that, um, interesting. Let me try. Some of the tools you have here is to uh, set up some preferences. Uh, setting up a new identity will set you up with some, will pretty much restart your connection. So here, if I zoom in on this little map quest, whoa, craptastic. If I zoom in on this uh, map quest image, if it'll let me. Looks like I'm 
can't make it make out where I am. Somewhere near uh, Stockholm, Sweden. So Estonia. Now if I go over here, right click, ask it for a new identity, it will set me up with another um, another Tor exit node. So look to the servers that I'm using, uh, whether it's uh, a Gmail or whatever, that, um, oh, that's awesome. Looks like I'm in the middle of the ocean. It'll, ma it'll uh, make it look as though I'm uh, not located where I actually am, and that is uh, LA County, which uh, is int uh, interesting and kind of cool. But uh, keep in mind, it's not 100% uh, foolproof. I think the best value of Tells is actually that you can use it on, say, a friend's computer, uh, boot the computer to your flash drive, uh, work on some documents, and then uh, maybe save them to your flash drive. I think that's possible. And then uh, shut down the system. It'll completely wipe the uh, RAM on the system and then shut down, which is awesome. So there will be no trace whatsoever that you are working on somebody else's computer. So, um, you know, you could use this to go through and use some of the system tools. Maybe uh, you're having trouble booting your computer. You could use it to recover your computer. Or maybe you're just using a family member or friend's computer for uh, a week or two and you don't want to create a account within, uh, you know, their Windows XP box or whatever. Let's just say you just want to stick to Linux and uh, you don't want to, uh, you know, risk any of your data being recovered by them or um, by anyone else in the middle who might, you know, steal their hardware or whatnot. So uh, this is a great way for you to have uh, wonderful uh, security on your digital communications with your computer and some added security by uh, running your uh, system through Tors. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'm sorry I went a little bit long. Uh, take it easy. Bye.